What's going on you guys? Today I want to do something a bit different. I want to see how many rounds it takes for me on the heavy bag to burn a thousand calories. Now this is going to be different for everybody depending on your fitness level, uh, depending on your size, how hard you're going, how fast you're moving, all kinds of factors. But for me, and generally the work that I put in, I want to see how many rounds it takes to get me to a thousand calories. Now, right now, just talking to you in these last few seconds, I burned a calorie. So I'll make sure to take off that at the end, uh, not include it in the mix. And you can try an experiment like this for yourself. I'm going to go three minute rounds, 30 second breaks, and I'm just going to keep going round after round until I get to a thousand calories. Because I really want to see how many calories I'm burning, boxing. I'm going to go at sort of a standard pace. So I'm not going to come out like Pacquiao or looking crazy or whatever. Just, Come out at a standard pace and keep moving, keep moving, just like I'm going for a long run. You know, like a run, depending on your weight, typically about 100 calories a mile or so. I don't know about per kilometer. And uh, so then you kind of would know, let's say 10 to 12 miles. So we're going to see how many rounds it takes to burn 1,000 calories. Uh, and hopefully I make it through. I got some water. I got some water down Powerade to help me out. No sponsors there. And you can try something like this for yourself. Wish me luck and I'll see you after 1,000 calories. Uh, we got round one in the books. I don't know if that's the pace I'm gonna be able to maintain, but right now my heart rate is at 121, 122, which I should be able to maintain, but you have heart rate drift. So as you go at the same pace, your heart rate tends to go higher. I burned 30 calories in one round. That's not much. Oh my God, this is gonna be a long, oh, this is gonna be a long workout. Hopefully the battery lasts on this camera. I know, oh, there's the round. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, round two. Uh, heart rate's getting up there a little bit in the 130s. I'm gonna try to keep it below 140, because that's when you're getting into the uh, anaerobic zone. So I gotta keep this aerobic. Even though boxing is primarily anaerobic burst, well, the aerobic system matters a lot. I'm gonna do a video on that. But the explosive action is anaerobic. Anyways, I'm just trying to hang in there. Round three coming up. All right, I think round nine. I'll have to check it. This shirt is now just becoming a pool of water in there. Like I just came out of the swimming, like I just came out of the swimming pool. Uh, almost 300 calories. Kind of feels good. Almost a third of the way there. Hopefully after this round, I'm a third of the way there. This is where I love fractions.
All right, 937 calories. Hour and 25 minutes, 30 second breaks. I think with this last one, I'm just gonna go straight until I get to 1,000. If the bell goes, I'm just gonna keep going and get that 1,000 because I know I'll be close. So I wanna get it in. At this point, arms are tired, especially right in the forearm right here. Oh, this is crazy. Not so much shoulders, lower back, forearm, little things. Oh my God, okay, hopefully this is the last round. Wish me luck. There's no stopping now. I'm screen recording my phone and recording this, but just in case. So an hour and 30 of work, three 30 second breaks, three minute rounds, thousand calories, minus the two from talking to you at the beginning. And man, that was tough. Forearms ache, legs ache, hungry, tired, thirsty. I really don't recommend doing it. I don't know how many rounds there was, but we'll find out. All right, what's going on guys? I hope you enjoyed the video. A thousand calories took 25 and starting into 26 rounds. It was sort of a personal goal for me, something that I wanted to accomplish and I was just really curious about. Now let me know what some of your personal goals are with regards to boxing right now. Are you training for fitness, uh, to lose weight, get in better shape? Are you training, preparing for your first fight? Are you already an experienced boxer and looking to get a state title or a provincial title or a national title? Leave your comments below. Let me know what's going on with you and your personal goals. And while you're at it, you might as well let me know what you think of the beard. Should I keep the beard, get rid of the beard, or whatever? And you also know that everyone has been calling me Voldemort or whoever that is uh, all these years because I got the bald head on the top. But the thing is, is that I actually have very thin hair. So I've been starting to try to grow back some of my thin hair. I don't know how it looks in this lighting, but. I don't know, you know, if you're, if you're Tyson or Michael Jordan or Bruce Willis or the, the Star Trek guy, they're gonna say go with the bald head. So I don't know, leave your opinion on that too. Should I go back to the bald head or should I try to grow whatever thin little bit of hair I got left? I'm sure there's gonna be differing opinions. Comments below and thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Check out precisionstriking.com. Thanks for watching you guys. Peace.